Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Chandrika from TS Info Technology. I'm an IT analyst in TS Info Technologies Private Limited. So without wasting our time, let's begin our video. I will cover some of the power automate string functions like day of week function, day of month function, and day of year function. And let's open the Power Automate homepage. For opening the Power Automate, in the browser, I was typing make.powerautomate.com. So as you can see, it is directly navigated to the Power Automate homepage because so first let's see about day of week function. And now I will create a manually trigger flow for that. Click on create and take instant cloud flow and select manually trigger a flow. Here I was giving the flow name as day of week. And click on create button. If you want to exit the new designer, just toggle the option of new designer so that it will get back to the classic designer version. So manually trigger ray flow has been added to the flow studio. And now let me say about the day of week function. Power Automate day of week function is mainly used or it is useful to get and know the day of week from the given timestamp or a particular date. Which means we can easily get the day of a particular date or uh, the output from the Power Automate day of week functions will give integer value from 0 to 6 which represents the particular day of the week. These are the values that represent for the days. So in the manually trigger a flow, I was taking add an input as date because I want to trigger the date for the day of week and day of month and day of year functions. And now I was taking initialized variable flow action so that we can take the expression for the day of week, provide a name here. I have given it as date and take the type as string. In the value, I was giving the expression for the day of week. Type here day of week. I wanted to know the day of week for today's date. So I will take UTC now function and click on OK. Now I will add one more step that is compose flow action. In the compose outputs, I will take the variables that is generated from initialize variable. Now once the flow gets ready, click on save and test the flow manually. Now the flow is now the flow ran successfully and open the compose outputs. Now it has generated the output in the integer form that is 4 which means 4 represents for Thursday and today's day is Thursday. Let me show you for another date. And in the initialized variable, I was changing the format of day of week. Here I was removing UTC now and I was taking trigger date so that it will show the day of week for the particular date that I will trigger. So click on update, save, test the flow. As you can see here, I was selecting 16 and click on run flow then now we can see the outputs that is generated from the day of week will be 2 which means it is Tuesday so now let's get into the day of month function so click on edit power automate day of month function will return the particular day of a month from the given timestamp or a given particular date and time as you all know a month has 30 to 31 days so it will return particular day of a month from the given time in the initialize variable i have taken the name as day of month and type as string and providing the value from the expression and taking day of month and i was taking here utc now and click on ok and in the compose outputs, I was selecting day of month from the variables and save and test it.
Now the flow ran successfully and opened the compose outputs. It has written the value 4 in the outputs of compose, which means it is the fourth day of the month. So now I will trigger the date instead of UTC now. So in the value I was taking from the dynamic content as trigger date and click on update. Save. Test the flow manually. Click on test. Here I was triggering the date. Previously I have taken UTC now so, so that it has given fourth day of this month that is January. I will pick one of the date in the next month. I will pick 16. After that click run flow and then and open the compose outputs to see now the flow has been returned the value as 16 which represents 16th day of a month. So now let's see the third function that is day of year function and this is also similar to day of month function and it gives the sequential day of the year from the beginning of the year of a particular time step that we have provided. It will calculate the days between 1 to 366 days irrespective of the months. It will ignore the months but it will only calculate the days continuously within 12 months. So, in the initialize variable, I was taking name as day of year now and the same type as string. I was changing value of day of year expression, day of year. And first I will see the UTC now. Click on OK. Today's date is 4th of January 2024. Now let's see it will give fourth day of that particular year or not. So click on save and test and select manually and click on test button. So now open the compose outputs and from day of year function given the value as four which means fourth day of the year. So now let's trigger for date in the expression erase the UTC now and take trigger date from the dynamic content and click on update click on save test select manually and click the test button now previously I have checked day of year for today's date and now I will pick a date from the calendar so I will be selecting in October month 22. So this is October 22, 2024 and click on run flow. Then see the now flow has been ran successfully and open the compose outputs value as 296 which means it is 296th day of a year in the 366 days. So this is all about how to use day of week and day of month and uh, day of year functions in Power Automate. For the detailed view or detailed description of these functions go through the link that is provided in the description box. For more videos on SharePoint Online and Power Apps, Power Automate and Power BI, please do like, share and subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon. See you in the next video. Thank you.